In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate audio tones with the Freedom R8000 or R8100 service monitor. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the audio zone. Right now I am in analog mode, so it's called the audio zone. And uh, if you're not already familiar with navigating between the zones, I strongly recommend watching the video on using the shortcut keys. In this case, the number four on the R8100 highlights the audio zone. The most important thing you should realize up front is that there are basically two modes of operation. Right now, I'm in monitor mode, as you can see up here. By pressing the blue monitor button, I'm in monitor mode. In this mode, I am not generating a carrier, therefore I'm not modulating a carrier with the audio. In this case, my audio zone can be thought of as an audio function generator. The audio that I configure here will be available at the mod out port on the front of the instrument. Therefore, all of my settings use the units of volts. Is your volts peak and are available at the mod out? In this case, if I would like to send an audio signal, from the mod out port, let's say I want to configure a fixed one kilohertz tone. My vertical soft keys, fixed one kilohertz level. Let's say I want to put out a one volt peak signal. Now that has set the level, but that has not turned it on. In order to turn it on, I have a fixed one kilohertz mode. And I can set, as you can see at the bottom, it's off. I can turn it to continuous. Once I've done that on the R8100, it turns green to let me know that it's turned on. This is now available at the mod out port, so you could take this and feed it into the audio input on a radio, for example, to have the radio modulate its carrier. I can generate not only fixed one kilohertz tones, I can, we have a general purpose synthesizer whose format is controlled here by the format I can send out PL or CTCSS, DPL or DCS, DPL invert, AB sequence or two-tone, five-six tone, pox sag paging tones, or I can even set up a general sequence of tones where I can specify the tone frequency, the tone duration, and the duration of the delay between tones. Again, I can have multiples of these turned on. In this case, I'm going to select PL. I'm going to leave the PL code as 1Z. I have to give it a level, so the synth level. And I'm going to set the synth level to 1 volt as well. Again, it's not turned on. It's not highlighted in green. I have to go to synth mode, continuous. Now I'm generating both a 1 kilohertz tone at 1 volt peak and a PL tone at 100 hertz, 1 volt peak, both of them. Uh, are added up together. Uh, we also have separate A and B tones. If you want a tone other than one kilohertz or you're doing two tone, you can then set up the frequencies of those tones and the levels. We can also generate DTMF. You can also connect the microphone that's in the accessory kit and use it to output the microphone audio to the mod out port. While we're in the audio zone, I'd like to point out the high pass filters and low pass filters. These uh, don't directly impact the tone generation, but I'd like to point out their presence and the fact that they are, uh, these fil this audio filter is applied after the demodulation process and applies before deviation is measured, applies before mod is shown on the mod scope and is also applied before signal sent to the speaker. That's a freebie. Okay, we're going to go to generate mode, pressing the blue generate button. Now we are generating a carrier at 500 megahertz. And here's our output level. There's a port. In the audio zone, you can see that my fixed one kilohertz and my synthesizer are still on. However, they have their levels have not been defined in the generate mode. Notice now the units are in kilohertz rather than volts. So fixed one kilohertz level. Let's put a three kilohertz tone. We're going to assume this is a 25 kilohertz signal. And we're going to set our synth level to 
six kilohertz. Okay, and now I am modulating the carrier with both a one kilohertz tone and with a 100 hertz PL tone at 0.6 kilohertz deviation. An additional option when you are modulating a carrier in the generate mode is that you also have the mod in port. You can now hook up a signal into the mod in port and actually use it to modulate the carrier. So an external audio signal can be used to modulate the carrier. The direction of the mod in out port is controlled through the mod in out uh, port mode function. By default it's an output but you can also set it to an input. And while it's generating and modulating the carrier, I'm going to turn up the volume. And you'll be able to hear those tones being generated. I'd also like to show you, I'm going to loop back. I'm going to go into duplex mode, generate and receive on the same frequency. I'm going to send my, I'm going to go back to the RF zone, send my signal out the gen out port. I have a cable going from the gen out to the antenna port and so I'm generating and receiving my signal I'm going to switch over the to display zone increase my reference or decrease my reference level so I can see the signal and so now I'm generating this tone at 500 megahertz or carrier that's modulated with both fixed one kilohertz and synthesizer I'm now going to go and show you the mod scope here we go and change my horizontal scale now you'll notice you for those of you who have noticed already i'm seeing a one kilohertz tone but i'm not seeing the pl tone even though it should be there again on the receiving side of things you have to remember those band pass filters at the bottom in my audio zone, you can see that by default, I'm filtering out everything below 300. So my PL tone has been filtered out. So let's go to the filter. And I'm going to set my high pass filter to 1 hertz. And now you can see both the 1 kilohertz tone and the PL that's bouncing around here. I'm going to actually change my horizontal scale so you can see it a little better. There you go. Now, watch this. I'm going to go into my audio zone and change those filters again. This time, I'm going to filter out everything above 300 hertz. And look at that. Now I can, even though there's a 1 kilohertz tone on this signal, and again, I'll turn it up. You, oh, I'm filtering it out so you can't hear it. There you go. Let me go back to 3 kilohertz. You can hear the 1 kilohertz and the 100 hertz interacting with each other there. I'm going to leave the volume up and I'll set that low pass filter to 300 hertz. And so even though I'm generating that 1 kilohertz tone, it's now most of it's been filtered out and I can clearly see and measure and hear my 100 hertz tone. So if you're needing to measure your PL, the amplitude of your PL on a system. You can, even though there may be voice, you can filter out the voice. Measure that. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you need additional assistance, check out our other videos or get in contact with us. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another video. To find our representative near you, visit www.freedomcte.com forward slash sale.